A new pony surfaces, Nissan's GTR hits the Top Gear test track, and the smallest Volvo gets more gumption. Hey everybody, I'm Derek D. It's Monday, and you're checking out Fast Lane Daily. It's been three years of concept cars, spy shots, and Hollywood movie placements, and it's all been leading up to right now. It's the day the Chevrolet Camaro officially returned to rotation. Photos of the production Camaro leaked to the internet this past weekend, just days before the car's official revealing. According to an official spec sheet, the new Camaro will come in at least three flavors, LS, LT, and SS models. Engine choices will include a 3.6 liter V6, producing 296 horsepower, and two V8s, topping out at 416 horsepower. One of those will be GM 6.2 liter with cylinder deactivation. Insiders say the second V8 could be a version of the LS3 power plant found in Chevrolet's Corvette. The 3,700-pound car will reportedly get a 52 to 48 weight balance, stable track traction control, and on the SS, four-piston Brembo brakes in the front. No word yet on a reported RS model, but GM will likely release new information later today. Last week on Top Gear, the GTR went up against a bullet train. This week, it faced a sting on Top Gear's test track. Of course, if you've seen yesterday's Top Gear, you already know how blisteringly fast the GTR turned the airfield course. But if you haven't seen it and don't want to know just yet, Go ahead and fast forward through this part. But if you must know now, well, here it is. The stick took the GTR through the Top Gear test course in 119.7. That's the same time as the Ferrari Scuderia and between the Lamborghini LP640 and the Ariel Atom, or seventh overall on the list. The Top Gear list is still, of course, topped by the Ascari A10 and bottomed by a classic Aston Martin DB5. No word on when the stick will be testing the Corvette ZR1. More power from a Swedish hatchback? That's in the internet rumor mill. It's coming up right after this. We're gonna settle this once and for all. What? No. Huh. You're speaking truth. Let's go to the phone. It's garbage. It's entertaining. Oh, thanks. Do you love Fast Lane Daily? Well, I know I do. So describe to us on your favorite internet video provider, whether it be YouTube, VO, iTunes, we're there. So go check us out. Some call it the AMC gremlin of the modern day. Now the Volvo C30 may be getting a much needed dose of sporty. That according to Dutch magazine Auto Telegraph, which says the 300 horsepower version of the C30 is in the prototype stage. Word is the C30R is powered by the same burnout maker as the recently revealed European Ford Focus RS. That's a tweaked version of Ford's turbocharged Duratec 2.5 liter inline five, producing 350 horsepower. Insiders say the secret C30 puts power down by way of Volvo's all-wheel drive system and can turn a wandering moose into whatever Swedish people call shepherd's pie. No word on whether Volvo will build the C30R for public consumption, but Auto Telegraph says, fat chance. And finally, Ford gave Mustang fans an extra tease this weekend. The company hauled a heavily disguised prototype of the 2010 Mustang to the 2008 Road America Vintage Car Show in Wisconsin. The leather-bound Mustang prototype served as the pace car for the day's vintage racing events. Ford chief designer Peter Horbury has said the facelifted Mustang will quote, look smaller than the current model without actually being smaller. That's quite a feat. And if that design tactic succeeds, we're sure other car makers may employ optical illusions on the sales lot. Well, that wraps up Fast Lane Daily for today. I'm Derek D, it's Monday. It's a good week. You guys have a great one. I'll see you Wednesday.